G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now the votes are in and 47% of you say that poor user adoption is the biggest uh, pain point and frustration you have with your SharePoint sites. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at one way in which we can help improve that user adoption and that is all around the user experience and the user interface uh, and creating a really nice engaging SharePoint site, visually appealing, that will help in this uh, aspect. So what we're going to do is take a look at a few different out of the box features that allow you to create these, uh, these types of pages that people will wanna come back and look at more and more. So let's just jump into it and get started. So you can see here on the screen, I've got a blank out of the box SharePoint communication site. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, a little logo for our SharePoint site. Now I'm going to jump in and use Copilot for this scenario and I'm gonna create a logo. Now the company or the, the marketing uh, site uh, of this company, this company is all about fashion and we're just launching a new t-shirt brand. So that's the kind of the scenario that we're looking at. So inside of Copilot here, I'm going to ask Copilot to uh, create a logo for our site. Can you please uh, create a logo for a t-shirt brand? Um, please uh, use a white background and let's see what it comes back with. So we'll come, we'll have a look. We should get four options here for us to choose from. Uh, and then we can, if we wanted to um, change and iterate and do that sort of, uh, that sort of manipulation if we wanted to for our logo. But let's have a look and see what options we come back with. All right, so we've got a few here. I'm going to choose this one here and I will grab this and I'm gonna download, I'm just gonna save this, I'm gonna uh, save image and I'll save it to my downloads folder. So now let's just jump back to our SharePoint site and I'm going to jump up here and I'm going to go to change the look and then I'm gonna to go to header and I will change uh, our site logo and I'm just going to choose that logo that we've just uh, created with Copilot. So there we go, we've got our, our logo for our site. So that's step one. Now let's have a look at how we can make this page um, a little bit more appealing for us. So this hero image, I'm gonna pop this page into edit mode and I'm going to actually remove this hero image. So let me just close the toolbox here. Um, sorry, the hero, uh, the hero web part. So I'm going to delete this and now what we're going to do is add a newish type of web part that's called the banner web part. So we can see here that we've got a few different options available for us. I can choose from the different types. I've got image and title, plain, and let's go have a look at each of one of these. So I'm gonna put author, and you can see that it puts a, an image of the author. I'm logged in as Megan uh, with a title and the author's name. I've got fade, which gives us this capability here. And if I go to properties, we can see that I've got the options here available to me as well to uh, flick through the different types of layouts. I've got plain, not really what we're going for. I've got color block, I've got overlap, and I've got image and title. Now, let's have a look at now also the different images or the layer or the, the backgrounds that we can also um, use for this as well. So I'm going to choose, let's just choose image and title. So let's go for browse and image, and I'm going to now, um, let me just flick over to, uh, I've got my images here inside of Canva. So what I've got here is an image that I'd like to use for uh, the banner or the, the, the main part of my page. So I'm going to just quickly download this, uh, this image here. I'm gonna use a PNG format and I'm going to just use page one and I'll download this. So now what we'll do is we'll flick back over to our site and I'm gonna change the layout a little bit. So what I'm going to do is rather than keep this as a full width column, I'm going to uh, remove this. I'm going to remove this section and I'm gonna add a new section and I'm going to choose one third right. 
So I'm going to uh, flick that into there. And now I've got two columns here. All right. And now what I can do is if I go to the properties of this section, I can now use a background image in this section. So I'm going to go to add a background image and I'm going to upload that image that I just uh, download it. So we can see here, I've got this image and I'll add this image to the background of this section. That's now uploading. And once that's uploaded, what will happen is that will appear as the background of this section. Now we can see there. Now what we might want to do though, is we might want to do some advanced editing here as well. So you can see we've got some, we can check, we can crop, we can adjust, we can filter. So you can see if I use choose filter, I can actually change uh, the different, uh, the, the different look and feel of it as well. So let's go with, we might go with vivid cool for the filter. And I'm just going to choose uh, and change the focal point here. Let's grab the top of the coat hangers um there as well and we'll hit save and now that will then change uh the the background image there as well now what we're going to do is i'm now going to pop in a text web part here um, where we're going to have the title of our page so let's add a title in here and then we'll also i'm just going to grab some text here and we'll also now pop uh, some text in. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. So we might uh, change the font size up to let's say 36. Now this image here on, in the section is a little bit washed out. So what we're going to do, we'll just click down to, to more settings as well. And we're just going to change the overlay opacity here. So let's just remove uh, and make this a little bit lower. And now we're looking pretty good. We might just make this a little bit, uh, the, the font a little bit more. So let's jump up to, uh, to 42. So that's looking nice. All right. So now we've got our banner, uh, which is a, a lot better or more visually appealing for our page. Now, the next part of this product line, we're gonna add a new, another new section here, but we're going to have, I want this to be more uh, and, and provide three uh, big key images for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this into a three column layout like so, and then I'm just gonna pop over to edit properties. Um, and you can see I've got the same properties here uh, as we would if we, were, um, were changing the layout to, to any other section. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add an image and I'm just going to duplicate this image web part and we're just going to use that across the three columns. So we'll duplicate, duplicate, and now we've got this layout where I've got my uh, three image web parts. Now, Let's grab some images and create some images to put in to these, uh, these web parts. So again, I'm just gonna jump back over to Canva. Now I've got some, I've got three images here pre-prepared. Uh, they're, um, they're 1080 by 1080 uh, in dimension. Whereas this image here that I use for the banner is 1920 by 1080. So there's some dimensions there for you. So I'm going to download each of these. So let's go download. I'm just going to uh, download image one first and I'll do all of these at the same time. We'll download, uh, now we'll go to uh, image two and then again, we're going to download image number three and now we've got our images that we want to use for our thumbnails or our placeholder images. So here, I'm going to go to browse image, I'm going to upload and we'll grab this image here, we'll use that in this web part, we'll then grab another image that we, down, that we created, we'll choose this white one here and then we'll jump in and we'll upload the third image and it is that image right there. So now we've got our three images. Now, another thing that we can do here is we can use on the right hand side, uh, the, the right hand side panel is we can use our design ideas. Now, 
as you can see here, we don't have any design ideas uh, available to us at the moment. So we'll come back to that in just a sec. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna also add some text web parts to uh, this particular uh, section. So let's go and duplicate these because what we might want to do is just have a little bit of information about our uh, about our images underneath here. So now that we've got some uh, some text, you can see that what SharePoint now does and this does new design ideas is give us a few different layout options instead of just the stock standard. So let's have a look at a couple of these. So if I select this design idea, you can see that we've got different uh, a different layout option. So it's not just uh, in, in line and you can see that now here's the inline version. Uh, and if I keep scrolling down, we've got one with a background image and another one with a, a fairly louder background image there as well. I might just stick to this one here. So now we've got our headline, we've got a little bit of information and we've now got our three uh, images that are appearing on our page. Now, what about some videos? We've got some promotional videos that we also want to display. So let's now, I'm gonna just delete and remove the news web part, the events web part. Uh, we're gonna leave the quick links web part because we're gonna use that uh, in just a minute. But I'm going to now, again, use a three column uh, layout here uh, where I'm going to now use the stream web part. So I've got a document library that is also in this uh, in this site, and I've got a folder called promo videos. So I want to display these promo videos in uh, on this homepage. So we're going to use the stream web part three times, and what that allows us to do is. Uh, a couple of things. So we're in the properties of the stream web part, you can see that we've got different sources. So we can go videos on this site, a folder, a playlist, or a single video. Now, because we've only got three in that library, we could actually just choose folder, but I do want to choose a video. I want to, I want to specifically choose a, a particular one. So I'm going to say I want the office style uh, in this video, in this one here, I'm going to choose another single video. Again, the same folder. So we'll jump into promo videos. We'll choose this one as the middle. And then on the left-hand side here, I wanna change this one to the third promo video that we do have. So we'll jump in here and it's the t-shirt rack. So now if I republish this page, what we'll see is our new layout. So we can see we've got our uh, banner with our background image. We've got now uh, three images with some uh, headline and some, some text, and we've got our video, our promo videos that can now just get played directly in line on the page. But let's uh, break this page up a little bit more. So on top of our videos, what we're going to do is I'm going to add a one column section here. Actually, we might do a full column section. And we're going to add a banner. Now, in this banner, we are going to leave this as, um, let's just close this. Uh, the type we will actually, Let's choose a, um, let's go image and heading. So what we'll do is we'll chuck this in here. And then again, in the properties of this, we will, that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna change this. We're gonna delete this. We're gonna add not a full width. We're just going to add a single column because the single column is the one that we want and it allows us to add our, our background image. So let's add our background image. I'm going to upload a new image here and we are just going to use this image we on the coat hanger. So that's now uploading and we're gonna add a little bit of a gradient. So we're just gonna change this again. We're going to change our focal point because I want this section there like so. And then let's have a look at our filters. So we'll have a look. Um, 
Let's go black and white cool. That looks good and we'll save that there. Now, the other thing that we're going to do is let's have a look at our overlay. So you can see here that we can change uh, our overlay and we can change the overlay opacity as well. So let's have a look and see what we think. So that actually looks pretty good like that. And let's now add our web part. So I'm going to now add a web part to this page. Uh, and I am going to say, um, must watch videos. And we will center that. And we're going to make this a lot bigger. So I'm going to go, let's say 68. No, uh, we'll go a little bit smaller. So let's go 42. We'll make this bold and then we are good to go. You can see that we also have the ability now to align this to the uh, to the actual uh, section as well. So let's now republish this and have a look at what we've got now. So we're republishing and now we now have our uh, our banner, our images, we've got another banner here and we've got our videos. Let's adjust these headings because they're a little bit big for us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to choose this. Let's just reduce this down to maybe 32. We'll go down to 32 as well. And again, let's just pop this one down to 32 as well. And now we've got them all on one line. Let's republish, we'll have another check. Uh, and the last thing we're going to do is we're actually going to now add a, a another quick links or a, a, like a dashboard type of uh, type of setup. And we're going to use the quick links. So down here, we've all actually already got this quick links web part uh, in this in this section. So this here, we will choose and we're going to create um, a little uh, employee benefits and perks, right? Employee benefits and perks uh, with the new launch. So now we've got a few different things and I'm just going to um, choose some random links here, but these would probably be links to more information about the particular benefit. Now the benefit here is going to be an employee discount. I will choose from our library. So I'm going to choose uh, let's go for, uh, let's see if we've got a discount, which we don't, let's go a tag. And that looks pretty good. And we'll pop that in there. We're now going to add another one, which is a clothing allowance benefit. So we're going to insert that. We'll go to our library again. And this time we are going to choose uh, some money and we'll choose that. We'll add another one, which is for uh, the ability to have some input and development opportunities. So we're just gonna choose this video. We'll change this, but you'd obviously be uh, pointing this to, let's say another page or something like that. Uh, let's go for paint. We'll choose our paint. And the next one is going to be uh, industry events and networking. So another um, another perk here is that we'll be running some industry and networking events. So we'll go into our library. Uh, we'll go, let's see if we've got any drinks. Uh, no, I haven't forked that will be good. And then we've now got this section here. So let's now republish and have a look at what this actually looks like now. So now what we've got you can see that we've got our banner, we've got our three headline, well, our three images with our headlines and information. We've now also got uh, must watch videos, our three videos, and we've also now got a little, uh, a, a now a little uh, dashboard down here. Now, what we might wanna do is just break this up a little bit again. So in our section, let's have a look and see what we can do here. So we might just want to add maybe a, a background image here. Let's, uh, sorry, a background, uh, gradient or a color and now we've got our page broken up again and we've got our little dashboard uh, of links here.
So there we go, nice and quick and easy, setting up a, a, an engaging user experience or user interface and a page here that really does uh, appeal to people coming back to this page. Um, and that way you can create a more uh, engaging environment for your, uh, for your users and hopefully increase the user adoption and use of your SharePoint site. So once again, thanks for watching uh, and I will see you in the next episode.